Hi, and welcome to my channel. It's about tech, IT, and my name is Martin Stenard, lives in Sweden, so excuse my English. I uh, have been working with IT for over 35 years, but uh, this channel is about cloud right now, and uh, let's see how long we come from that. So my first test is here is to use Azure. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's Microsoft's big cloud services. Uh, you can test it for free at portalazure.com. And uh, today's test, we get test uh, to create a small PHP web application. So app services, as now we have no app services here. So let's create an app service. Uh, subscription, uh, if you have several subscriptions, you can select from here. You can also pay as you go. Uh, that's just enter your credit card or Azure subscription one, as I have already prepared. First thing is to, to every resource you, you create in Azure, you need a resource group and then that's bind together different virtual machines for example or a web application in in different so say resource group then you can assign different rights to this resource group so it's good to have a, a good standard around resource groups so in this subscription have no no resource groups so i will just try to <clears throat> create one from scratch and uh, it's also good to have some naming conventions here. So on my, I usually use RG as resource group and web app PHP, for example. Create that. And, and then the name of the application or the web application. And remember, it will always be .azurewebsite.net in the end. So it need to be unique. And um, so web app, for example, will not work. That already taken, and we can uh, uh, just add some more. So it should be unique. For example, web app PHP web one. Uh, the stack, as I said, that we can select uh, a number or different application stacks to a uh, runtime stacks to use .NET, of course, uh, Java, Node, GS, PHP and Python and Ruby. So in this short example, I would like to just to add uh, PHP and uh, then select the, so to say, region you want to have the <coughs> web application hosted. For me, it's closest to uh, West Europe. Um, the data center is in Sweden is not really ready yet. Uh, so I select West Europe, that's Amsterdam. And uh, then there will be an application plan. You can select different applications plans uh, depending how much memory, uh, CPU, virtual CPUs you need. Um, and of course, there's, there's different prices and different, so to say, features included in them. So for production, um, uh, you have uh, this different, six different, and uh, you can also have more here. Uh, usually for productions, there is uh, custom domains, auto scaling, backups, and things like that included. Uh, for dev, uh, there is a very cheap one, one gig memory, 60 minute daily consumption for free. So we will take that for example. And you can also have an isolated uh, web application if you prefer that. Uh, but of course that will be uh, more costly. So in this, this example, we just use a, a free one. Um, okay. And then uh, 
you can just deploy it. Uh, if you like some monitoring, you can add uh, that. Uh, you need to enable uh, application insight, and then you can get monitoring features for that. But let us do that in a later state. Um, you can set tags and uh, so you can search for different uh, resources in, in Azure, for example. Uh, you can make, say, have an owner for this website. It's maybe it's me. And then you, you have an owner tag and the value marking. So let's create this. Uh, you get summary page here, what's included. And SKU for uh, the, the consumption plan, subscription, and so on. Great. Uh, up here you see uh, the bell with the notifications, and you see that it's starting to uh, deploy. Okay, and you can follow the progress here in the deployment the deployment overview. So now I force forward a little bit and you see the deployment is complete. <laughs> Took some minutes. And then you can go directly to the resource now. You have the web page. Up here, we have a um, um, URL. Uh, we can see it's running, uh, the location West Europe and my subscription ID. Uh, and here, you can also see some data for traffic and, and so on. So, but let's start to see if we can get the web page up. Uh, maybe it's too early, but now we have it. That's it. And uh, let's just uh, do an, uh, a short PHP code upload and see if that also works. Okay, now that we have our website, uh, let's uh, deploy some code. And um, as we show some, uh, we show some PHP. So let's clone uh, a, a repository that we can use. In deployment center, we have set up local git. Uh, we have uh, our credentials set here. Um, we set a it must be a unique username that we use for git. And uh, you also have the git clone url here so what i like to do is following the short example that also microsoft taking showing it's uh, to clone a short code from github and uh, i have an, a local azure raspberry pi uh, Ubuntu that I use as a local machine here. I have the code on, and it's very, it's a very short code. Just hello world. I'm sorry. Um, like this, and. Um, so let's make that the main branch like that and um, you also need to start the powershell or azure and um, shell and uh, do an app AC web app config at 
Setinha. Set the name of the web application that you have here. Pause. Uh, resource group. Group. Sorry. Group. You always can copy and paste that from there. And the setting is so put it in so that we use the main deployment branch. That's something we need to have done before, otherwise the push in GitHub will not work. Paste it in there. Now I already have done that before, so we're getting that correct. Uh, since we are using the free version, uh, we can only have uh, one deployment slot. Uh, if we need to go to standard or premium plan to have the possibility to have different deployment slots. So we can have one development, one test and one production for example. So let's get back here. <coughs> And um, we use uh, we have the git URL here in our main window, git clone URL. So we will use that to push the update back uh, to our website. So let's paste that. In. So remote add, we add that uh, remote site to be able to push it in Git. Um, just do a small change in the code, commit it, and then we just do a Git push. Uh, sure. Okay. okay, so let's start pushing our code with git push, push Azure main since we just did, did a commit. So let's start that. Uh, I need also supply my password for my local git user. And hopefully this will take a little bit of time, but uh, now it starts to deploy. And it takes a few seconds. Okay, they deployment successfully. Now we should hopefully have a hello world. Yeah. So let's just test how, how this will, uh, if we do a um, change to this. And uh, for example, add uh, one more text here. So let's do it. A bit update on that and do uh, commit it commit on that and a new push so that will push the code again from my local github repository And of course, you can do this much easier with, for example, Visual Studio Code or some similar to have Git integrated directly and to push the code directly from Visual Studio Code uh, to 
to Azure's local poster, but now we have an updated website. Yeah. So I think that's for this little bit short introduction and um, how to just to show you there is now a um, log and uh, we can see the different deployments we have done and you see that I have done some explanation but this is the latest uh, latest uh, update I've done and uh, let's see latest you can follow the so to say commits here directly okay thank you for this and uh, i'm doing some more episodes soon bye